Three years ago, Audi brought this concept car along to the German Motor Show. They said they were going to put it into production, and we all laughed and said, of course you will. Knowing full well, they wouldn't. But do you know something amazing? They have. It goes on sale in the spring and will cost, depending on the engine you choose, between 25 and 30,000 pounds. But what is it? A hopeless four-seat coupe or a handy hatchback with pretty jewellery? Or is it what we're secretly hoping for? An out-and-out -out sports car. standing here all night looking at that car and I've reached a conclusion. I'm afraid I'm going to have to sue Audi. You see, I designed something remarkably similar to this on the back of my mass exercise book when I was eight years old and without so much as a by your leave. They just copied me. What really hurts though is that I called my design the Cheetah, which is a good name. And they've called theirs the TT, which is a bad name. Who, I wonder, is going to buy an Audi Titty? Well, you'd certainly buy it for the looks, but I would say that because, of course, I designed it. It's fabulous. Much more Conran than Conrod. And then there's the engine. It may only be a 1.8, but it has 20 valves and a turbo. So the end result develops 225 brake horsepower. This is it. It's basically the same engine that you'll find in a whole raft of Audis. And the Golf GTI. And the new Volkswagen Beetle, for that matter. Except on this one, the valves and the pistons and this shiny thing going round here are all put through a serious workout because it's got socking great intercoolers down there. It's got a beefed up turbo which you can see whirring away here and a six-speed gearbox. this car with a 180 horsepower engine but that's a bit of a sausage what you really must have is the 225 horsepower engine that I've got in this one the full brat burst it takes six seconds to get from 0 to 60 which isn't surprising what is surprising is that flat out in six it'll do more than 150 this, I think, has a great deal to do with aerodynamics. The Titi may have a blunt front, but underneath there are all sorts of little spoilers designed to make it cleave the air with the efficiency of a Kalashnikov's bullet. Inside the air-conditioned cabin, you sit on spectacularly good seats overlooking this wonderful dashboard peering out through slitty little windows in many ways it's like driving a letterbox but you feel small you feel cocooned you feel safe and then you get to a corner now sure this has a low center of gravity and big fat tires it also has a new type of four-wheel drive system so obviously it has the handling to match the performance and the looks uh, no. You see, Audi's engineers were given the basic underpinnings from an A3 hatchback. They were given the engine from a Golf GTI, and they were given some wires. And they haven't been able to turn this mixed bag into a sports car. 
I understand the problem. You see, all I've got here are some peanuts, a carrot, and an egg. Now, these are fine, upstanding ingredients, but I am not going to be able to turn them into a velouté of celeriac. The Audi corners well enough, but it all feels rather detached, like you play a computer game rather than actually driving. Couple that to steering, which is more vague than Hugh Grant, a gearbox, which is positively bolshy, and a jerky throttle application, and you're left with a car which is just not rewarding to drive. If you're one of the thousand people who've put a deposit down for a titty, expecting it to be pert and firm, forget it. This car is a trinket, an accessory. It'll make you look good in a traffic jam, and it is fast, but don't be deceived. Take it to roads as good as this, and you'll discover the truth. The TT is not a sports car. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It'll be a bright, sunshiny day. Next year, there's talk of them doing a convertible version. But unless they sort out the handling and the steering, that isn't going to work either. It's unbelievable, this. No big manufacturer seems to be able to crack the sports car nut. BMW failed with the Z3, Porsche failed with the Boxster, Mercedes failed with the SLK, and now Audi have failed with this. But don't despair, because I've heard on the grapevine, Honda are about to succeed. It's called the S2000. It'll cost about £25,000, and it seems to have everything an enthusiast could possibly want. Rear drive, a six-speed box, an aluminium body, and a 240-brake horsepower VTEC engine. Top gear. Never knowingly first with the news, but sometimes we surprise even ourselves.